Hey friends, Mark Holmes here with Michael Anthony Fitness. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Uh, we, there's no rest for the weary. We actually worked for a few hours today uh, at our day job, trying to get caught up. So we got the tile laid in and got started on the floors and then uh, uh, we can go through and grout everything and they can start moving some stuff in the afternoon because we'll get down like the floor in the living room and stuff. So I've been, you know, gone to Puerto Rico. We had, I'd say, an incredible experience, wouldn't you, Mike? Yeah, that farm was the best part. Yeah, I, I gotta turn my AC on, so hopefully it's not too loud. So we need to speak up forget, a little bit. Forget, forget about it. All right, so there's been a little controversy here on the channel. Um, so people are like, you need to get rid of Ed Oliver. And wow. because they're, you know, here's the thing. He, he's, he's like, he's basically like the rest because of, he's the Redskin version of you when it comes to the type of content that he does. Yeah. That's basically what he is. Well, well, no, I like the debate. See, sometimes you all, you guys want to have everybody that just tells you everything is wonderful, hunky dory and everything done. It's, like, it's good to have a difference of it's like, opinion. It's like Rashid. Everybody wants to block him. It's like, what is right. it? He's not that um, bad. But I, I will totally disagree with him, and in fact, here is my argument, because I, I talked about Rico Gathers getting suspended for a Class C misdemeanor, okay? And here's the thing, there, there's four classes of misdemeanors. Okay? But it also depends class on Class A or, or Class 1 is like up to a year in jail, $2,500 fine and stuff, which is more serious. It's a step down from being a felon. Class 2, a little bit smaller. Class three or class C is up to a five hundred dollar fine and three months of jail. Up to very few people ever get that. Okay, all ever. Depends, all depends on how much you. Basically, have. and then there's a class four, which is just like you know. Okay, so Rico got arrested for having drug paraphernalia. We don't know how much weed, but for it to be a class three, it can't um, be which. That much. I they basically did a, did a plea deal to pay $99. $99, okay? $99 was the fine, okay? But the NFL decided to give him a one-game suspension and a game check, okay? So Ed is saying, because as I pointed out, Reuben Foster, okay? Reuben Foster, who's been arrested for drug paraphernalia and drugs... Is that the one that got hurt? Yeah, the one that got hurt. Well, who has been having weapons charges and been arrested uh, uh, numerous times with his estranged girlfriend for domestic violence. So Ed's argument is, well, he was not convicted by the court system. Brother, Zeke Elliott was never even arrested. Zeke Elliott was never charged. Z. Kelly was investigated, but never anything came from that, and he got six games. Okay. So, but but here's the thing. Okay, I, I get it. The charges were dropped because basically the girlfriend decided, you know, this is my meal ticket. If I go ahead and you know, die, yeah, die, do something, then it's going to be problems for getting you know alimony, palimony, or uh, you know, money poor child because this is his livelihood, right? So she would not be the witness even though she called the police originally. So, but if you go through there and say, well, all right, let's say hypothetically, the police say nothing happened. Then how come the NFL decided to find him two checks? The NFL find him two checks and said, it's okay for you to play. In order for them to find him two checks, then they must deem that something happened that was against what the NFL brand is. They're saying he's guilty, and that's why we're finding him two checks. I'm not disputing that Rico is guilty of having drug paraphernalia, but to allow him, and he's hurt now in one place, so it's a mute point, but to allow him to say, okay, We'll just take the money from you, but we'll allow you to play for domestic violence, for past transgressions of gun charges, as well as 
drug paraphernalia as well. Rico, class three misdemeanor, which is only medicating himself. Maybe a point. That's why all he had too. He gets fined not only the game check, but also the game. That's my problem here. Because I thought, isn't domestic violence automatically a six game suspension? Because that's what Zeke Elliott got, even though nobody else has. Zeke Elliott got six and he wasn't arrested, wasn't charged, anything. There were no charges dropped because there were no charges. You see my logic here? So if the NFL deemed that they think something happened, so we're going to take two checks, then how come he was suspended for six games? Because clearly it was the best violence. So the ball's in your court, Ed. Explain it to me so that I'll understand that a guy who had a little bit of weed gets suspended for a game. A guy who's been called multiple times and arrested for domestic violence gets fined two game checks. Because to me, it's not fair. It's not fair. You have any thoughts on it? And this is where I'm worried because it seems like there's a personal vendetta against the Dallas Cowboys. So I'm worried about Tyrone Crawford. If that's the if, Elliott if, too. If if Rico got a game for having a blunt, that's basically as much as by him. Okay. You got Tyrone Crawford in a bar. But he actually got charged. Who got charged? You know. So I I, I look at that and say, you know what? I think they'll. they'll that, that, that's the little end for the NFL to go ahead and stick the knife in the back of the Dallas Cowboys. Or, Jay, or Jerry turn Jones. it a little bit. Or Mr. Jerry Jones. Right. So, we'll see what you got to say on that one, Ed. But I'm telling you, you Redskins keep getting away with stuff that we can't. Does and that, maybe, does and that, maybe that's part of the reason why you're not winning anything, because it's karma. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that, didn't that, don't they have a training facility somewhere close? Oh yeah, it's just like they're allowed. That that they're letting them get away with stuff because they're making them bring money to the to the. To the oh, yeah. Let, let, let's get to uh, the, the other dude who the, there's the videotape of him beating people down. Him and his girl girlfriend took a bottle and hit hit another woman upside upside the head. Police drive no uh -huh. charges. Probably because of where they're where they're. And we'll see if there's some, yeah we'll see if there's something that comes from that. It's Nicholson, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, Montre uh, Montre Nicholson. Yeah. So don't give me this stuff that oh well he's guilty you know by, by the court. Man, give me give me a fat baby break because you know your res kids that video. Look it up. Look that thing up because that's like a 90 second video. He gets pulled off of and then runs back over and starts kicking a person on the ground. So don't give me that crap, man. I'm back, and I'm ready to go off. So don't y'all be, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, you know what? After seeing the sights that I saw in Puerto Rico and seeing what people had to put up with, I ain't putting up with crap no more, man. You know, you wanna come in here? I'm gonna stomp you down if you don't act right. No more Mr. Nice Guy, all right? Except for my Puerto Rican friends. All right, um, later on today, um, me and E2 Blue are going to do a little live stream. He said he wanted to do a live stream together, so we'll, we'll hook that thing up and um, get together for a little post Puerto Rico um, off season workouts, Dallas Cowboys directions, and pre training camp talk, I guess. Does that, that, that cover it all? All grass signs about less than a month away. That's, uh, yeah, July 12th through 14th? Well, the 14th is the day that we have to be there because all the Dallas Cowboys players. So circle your calendar because we got the autograph signing in Chantilly. And, and, and surprisingly. You got a lot of Cowboy players. No, no, surprisingly, there's going to be some New York Giants players, too, and Redskins. I didn't see any Eagles on the list. Who? Daniel who? Who? The fact. Daniel Jones is going to be there, but who cares about Who? Him? That's right. And the number one overall pick is going to be there, too. Who's probably going to be a bust. Who? Kyle Murray. The number one overall pick this year is going to be a bust. 
Yeah, so if you guys are anywhere near VA, the weekend of July 12th through 14th, circuit calendar, you're planning on being there. Damn, baby. You trying to run into this lane? People run, are they in Puerto Rico? I know. Drive, oh, uh, remember, Puerto 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 Rico? remember we saw Puerto Rico on our way back? What's up? That uh, minivan towing another minivan. Oh, my God. <laughs> with, with, a, with one of those um, tie downs. Tie downs. Like you have for your truck. Oh, yeah, I, I just seen some stuff in Puerto Rico that I ain't never yeah. seen before in my life. But lives want to change in different right. states. Wishing all the fathers out there that have acted like fathers a happy Father's Day. All you other ones that weren't there, you missed out. I'll see you guys.